Hi and welcome everybody. I'm the DIY Swede. Welcome back. This is part 17 of my e-bike. Sorry for not posting anything in a long time. It's been Christmas, too much work, a lot of things involving the move and the building of the new house and so on. And on top of that, I had Corona. So even if I wanted to build the e-bike, I couldn't because I was too busy. But now, no more excuses, let's build some e-bike! Come on, let's go! Last episode I started the jig for the back fork. And here you can see I had to expand the jig so that it was straighter for the frame. The reason why I needed the jig is so that when I cut the back fork, Put it together, I end up in the right place for the hub. I also need to adjust it slightly backwards to clear the back wheel. Widen the back fork so that it clear the width of the tire and the chain. Here you can see that I'm measuring the 90 degree from the straight frame to the back fork. Here I marked where the holes are in the beginning, so I can adjust it slightly backwards. And cut it and expand it in the width. And here is where I'm going to cut it. Here I mark the old one and the new one. And widen it by 2 cm by cutting this rod like this. Yeah, the welding wasn't as good as I had hoped. Looks nice, but it's black, I don't know why. If you have any idea, please leave a comment below. I wanted it quite big for the stability, but I drilled it out for saving some weight. This screw fits perfect inside the hole. And I widen the jig in the front so it's straighter.
next episode I will bridge the gap and weld it shut so it's fixed. Thank you so much for watching this episode. More to come in part 18. But because I'm quite busy and uh, my life is uh, not so predictable, so I, I'm not sure if it takes two or three weeks. Please bear with me. But I will try my best. Please have a nice day. Goodbye, good night all over the world.